So in this video, we're going to find the area of a triangle. And the formula that we use to find the area of a triangle is A equals 1 half times the base times the height. The A stands for the area, the B stands for the base, and the H stands for the height. And before we get started with an example, I want to talk about how we find our base and our height. What I like to do is I always like to pick the bottom side of the triangle to be my base. And if you do that, the height is always going to be the distance between the top of the triangle and the base. But notice how the height has to be vertical, or the line has to go up and down. This is an easy example because the right triangle has a left leg that goes straight up and down, so the height is just the distance of this leg. But let's take a look at an example where it's not so obvious. Let's go down to this bottom left example. Notice how I picked the bottom side of the triangle to be my base. And then to find the height, we have to go to the top of the triangle, and we have to draw a line that goes straight up and down right to the base. And that distance straight down from the top of the triangle to the base is going to be your height. And the same thing for this triangle in the bottom right. Notice how the base is the bottom side of this triangle. And in order to find the height, we have to go to the top of the triangle, and we have to draw a line going straight up and down, and that distance to the base is going to be our height. So now I think we're ready to get started with an example. So here we have a right triangle with one side with a length of 10 meters and another side with a length of 4 meters. The first thing I'm going to do is find the length of the base of my triangle. I always pick the base to be the bottom side of the triangle. And since the bottom side has a length of 10 meters, I know that my base is going to equal 10 meters. And now I'm going to find the height of the triangle. The height of the triangle is always the vertical distance between the top of the triangle and the base. And since this is a right triangle, the vertical distance between the top and the base is exactly the same as the left leg of the triangle. So the left side of this triangle of 4 meters is going to be equal to our height. So now that we found our base and our height, we can plug everything into our formula. The area is going to be equal to 1 half times the base, and we know that the base is 10 meters, so I'm going to plug in 10 meters for our base. And this is multiplied by the height, and we know that our height is equal to 4 meters, so I'm going to plug in 4 meters for the height. So now we just need to multiply everything together. Our area is going to be equal to 1 half times 10, which is 5, and 5 times 4, which is equal to 20. And we can't forget about our units. Area is always expressed in square units, such as feet squared or yard squared. But since we were given meters in this particular problem, our units are going to be meters squared. So the area of this triangle is equal to 20 square meters.